For many years, researchers have looked for worlds that are comparable to Earth. It is unexpected that the restrictions are so stringent. To conduct their research, they would just need to circle a sun-like star from a safe distance. NASA has so far found 4,401 exoplanets, or worlds outside our solar system. Some are thought to resemble Earth, while others have unusual atmospheres or circle dangerous stars. If you're into astronomy, then you've probably heard of a planet that orbits two stars. This is called a circumbinary planet, and scientists kept finding them back in the 1800s. The first circumbinary planet was discovered in 1846 by William Lassell, who called it Planet X. But it wasn't until 1998 that scientists found another one. This time around, they named it Kepler 1647b after Kepler's work on planetary motion, which we'll talk more about later. Before we continue, have you subscribed to our channel yet? Click that like button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy more amazing videos like this one. Now, let's take a look at some other fascinating planets out there. The first is planet HD 106906b. A super Earth with a radius of 1.7 RE, HD 106906b orbits its parent star every 2.6 days from a distance of 1.43 AU. The planet's orbit is eccentric, which means it takes longer to complete an orbit around its central star than most other planets in our solar system do. It also has an eccentric orbit with a semi-major axis of 0.087 AU, or Earth-Sun distance, making it appear slightly smaller than Neptune at its closest approach to its star, and larger than Mars at its furthest point away from it. This makes sense, given that HD 106906b has not yet been identified as being rocky like Earth or Venus, but rather baked like Mars or Jupiter. This makes it difficult to classify the planet as either terrestrial or a gas giant. Instead, we'll have to call this new world super terrestrial. The second is VFTS 352b. You may be familiar with the term planetary if you're an astronomer or an astrophysicist. But what does this mean? It means that instead of orbiting around a star, which is what planets do, including Earth, this planet orbits a star in the constellation Centaurus. The planet's mass is about 17 times Jupiter's, making it quite large for its orbit, which takes around 1.5 days to complete. The distance between Earth and this exoplanet is not far at all. It is 370 light years away from us here on Earth. It is a little less than halfway across our galaxy. The star itself isn't very bright though, only about 0.5% as bright as our own sun. So we can't see it directly yet, even if we were standing on top of Mount Everest. The third is the exoplanet HD 189733b. The planet HD 189733b is a gas giant about five times the radius of Jupiter. It orbits around its parent star at a distance of about 1 million miles, or 1.6 million kilometers. The planet has an orbit that takes it from about 0.002 AU, or astronomical units, to 100 AU, and back every year which means it travels across our solar system. Researchers think that this planet was born as a protoplanet in an earlier stage of solar system formation and grew into its current size by accreting material from asteroids and other objects orbiting it. A new paper published in Nature Astronomy suggests that HD 18733b may have been formed when its parent star began to pass through its birth clouds, a period referred to as starquakes, before reaching adulthood when stars form through accretion rather than nuclear fusion processes like our sun does today. It is in no way like our Earth, therefore it is inhabitable to humans. The fourth is the super-Earths. Super-Earths are planets with masses higher than Earth's 
but substantially below the mass of ice giants like Uranus and Neptune. They're also called mini Neptunes because they can be as big as Jupiter or even bigger. The most massive one detected so far is 55 times more massive than our own planet. The discovery of habitable planets around other stars has been incredibly exciting to scientists because it means that we may be able to someday live on other worlds and visit them even if there's no way for us to get there right now. Imagine such a planet that it is able to take our current population 55 times and still have enough space. The fifth on this list is the Kepler 1647b planet. Kepler 1647b is a super Earth exoplanet, also known as a hot Neptune, orbiting the orange dwarf star Kepler 1647 approximately 220 light years from Earth. This planet was discovered by NASA's Kepler spacecraft in 2011, and it orbits its star every 1.6 days at an average distance of about 2.2 million miles, about four times farther out than Mercury orbits our own sun. The giant gas giant's atmosphere contains about 7% hydrogen and 24% helium, which would make it very similar to Jupiter if it were placed in our solar system today. The next is the OGLE-TR122b. OGLE-TR122b is a gas giant with a mass of about 19.8 Earth masses. It orbits its host star every 4.85 days and has a radius of 1.43 times that of Jupiter, making it the largest known planet in the Kepler field. Every day on this planet is considered a bad day. The next is the Death Planet, or WASP-12b. The Death Planet is a hot Jupiter that orbits its parent star at 0.04 AU, compared to Mercury's orbital distance from the Sun. WASP-12b's surface temperature is likely around 1200 degrees Fahrenheit, and it has an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. It was discovered by amateur astronomer Gerald Elst in 1995 and named after his daughter, Catherine Elst, who was 10 years old at the time. Nothing can survive a minute on this planet. Next on the list is the alien megastructure star KIC 8462852. KIC 8462852 is a star that is not a black hole, although it is extremely dark. That's right, you read that right. It's not an object that sucks light out of everything around it and swallows them up into a massive gravitational force field. The star has been found to have a very large amount of energy coming from it, which cannot be generated by any natural process. It is so scary because it looks as though it is a black hole. Next up is the Upsilon Andromedae b, or Upsilon and b, Super Jovian planet. The planet called Upsilon and b is about 4.0 times the mass of Jupiter and orbits its sun every 1.6 years, which means it can only be seen during favorable seasons on this planet. The main reason for its exclusion from other planets' habitable zones is that the orbit of Upsilon and b lies within the star's habitable zone, a region where temperatures are warm enough for liquid water to exit the planet's surface. The tidally locked system we've discovered here is also unique because it's one in which both primary stars have shown evidence of solar flares coming from them, meaning they emit X-rays. This makes Upsilon and B one big mystery. Why would two totally unrelated systems have similar characteristics? The last planet is the PSR B1620-26b or the Methuselah star. This is the most massive planet ever detected in a binary system. The planet is 6.52 times the mass of Jupiter and orbits its star every 2.9 hours with an eccentricity of 0.08, meaning that it moves outwards from its star at about 90 degrees to the plane of its orbit and back again over two days. 
The distance between them is about 1 AU, or twice as far away from our own sun that Mercury orbits around us. But because they're so close, we can see many details in their light curve, which means we'll be able to study this alien world for years to come. These are just a handful of our favorite planet discoveries, but we're sure that there are many more out there. And with a little help from the internet, you can find your own scary planet.